The GE Visual Intelligence Platform is a cloud-based software for big data analytics. It can ingest any type of visual data or geographic content and display it in a single environment. For example, here's a series of aerial photos taken over a section of a power line network for the purposes of vegetation management. Each blue dot represents a photo, and you can access each photo individually for review, or you can access the full library of photos or data collected by clicking the split plane and showing the entire panel on the left-hand side. This data consists of roughly 5,000 standard 2D images captured in a linear corridor by an unmanned aircraft and aggregated into a single project. The platform can then combine all of this information to create a 3D representation of reality with very high accuracy throughout the entire section of the network. The output created from this particular data acquisition is nearly 100 gigabytes, but can be displayed and manipulated seamlessly within the platform, as well as made shareable with a single click. The AI engine embedded in the platform then automatically recognizes the trees and vegetation along this corridor and classifies them as low, medium, or high vegetation. The platform can overlay this information with legacy utility data shown here in green. For this project, we've imported a digital twin of the power line that will be used to compute the risk encroachment with adjacent vegetation. For this vegetation management analysis, the AI takes all the vegetation points, calculates their distance and position from the power line. The risk classes are distance and position based, but also incorporate additional line characteristics, such as tr transmission line voltage. As a result, the analytic divides the level of risk into five groups or categories, displays them visually in the 3D environment, from low risk shown here in light blue, to high risk shown in red, indicating areas that may require immediate attention or immediate action. As 3D data can be relatively difficult to share across an organization, perhaps even more difficult to share with trimming contractors or forestry companies, the software can also reproject these risk classes into a 2D environment, where each risk polygon becomes a task. These polygons, or tasks to be performed, are now prioritized by a global level of risk. Red for urgent, blue for mid to long term, aiding in planning and budgeting decisions. Results from this process can then be exported or generated into a format compatible with maintenance or task management softwares. In our case, it's a CSV file. So the report contains all the necessary information for a trimming company to do their job. There's a polygon ID field listing a unique identifier for each polygon for reference against its spatial location on the map. Uh, there's a location of each trimming area, the type of work to be completed shown here, the criticity of each area to assess the priority. Finally, the ID for each pole that surrounds the specific trimming area. Calculating risk based on a current situation is one thing. What if, we, what if we take a more predictive approach? The platform can overlay information captured at different times. In this example, vegetation in 2018 is overlaid against vegetation from 2019. Using a time series approach and incorporating external parameters such as weather patterns and precipitation values, but also the type of tree, a growth model can be applied to the vegetation and show how the scene will look six months from now. Based on this, the vegetation management analysis can be refined to understand potential risk at a later time. To identify tree species, 3D information is tied to 2D data. In this case, satellite images. On these satellite images, our embedded AI engine can extract the tree crown from each tree. As the type of tree is determined by the shape of the crown, GE.AI can automatically recognize species of trees and then apply individual growth models to them, as well as determine potential risk of fall. The same type of dynamic approach can be applied to the conductors. As the load inside the conductors changes, they sag, changing the risk model for vegetation encroachment. The platform can dynamically compute that information, which is helpful in accurately determining the risk of flashovers. In addition to vegetation management, the platform also helps automate the asset inspection process, notably for the inspection of distribution and transmission poles. 
Inspection pictures can be collected over an asset, either by technicians carrying a tablet or by aerial data companies operating drones or helicopters. And the platform has the ability to automatically associate these pictures to a specific asset and sub-equipment. This drastically simplifies the data management process. The platform lets you visualize each of these pictures in 2D and 3D and allows technicians in the field to annotate them and share them across the organization in real time. This develops global awareness of a topic and improves decision making along the asset management process. Additionally, the AI engine is trained to recognize different classes of object as well as defects relevant to each class. It annotates them accordingly shown here in red and blue. This helps subject matter experts streamline the process of inspection and allows teams to focus on collecting much more data to drive better maintenance strategies. All the defects collected on a section of a network can then be exported to a dashboard, aiding all maintenance operations that need to be conducted and prioritized on that line to reduce the risk of potential downtime.